How you doing, everyone? We're going to start doing our series, Life Hurts, God Heals. A little here and a little there. I don't know if I'm going to be uh, consistent to a day. I'm just going to see how we get to it. Um, I'm thinking maybe Fridays I can get it out, but I'm not sure. Maybe I can make it the Friday morning one since I am get up super early and go to the flea markets on Friday. But life hurts, God heals. I think a lot of us don't quite grasp that in our Christian walk that God promised us that, that he, he would heal us. Physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. But we don't receive it. We kind of go through the motions of uh, humdrum. Woe is me. We're going to look at some things. And we're going to start breaking it down. And I'm going to do it very slowly. So what I may do is do it slowly. And then when I get time, I might do the whole, the whole real lesson of part each part because I'm like using a little teeny bit so that I can get some scriptures in your hand so that you can start working through it but maybe eventually I'll do the whole part of it so that it makes a deeper sense and put it out in its long form where I'm using all the 10 or 15 scriptures that they're using to teach that that session because um, part one we're going to be we're going to be talking about pain um Life hurts, God heals. Well, first, we got to realize that pain is everywhere and it hurts. We know that. We have all kinds of pain. You have all kinds of pain. I have pain. And it's how we learn to process that. Do we give it to God? You know, God tells us not to be anxious and worry about anything. That's easy to do, isn't it? No. Yeah, we all have to sit back and go, Whoop, Holy Spirit, ah, help me here. Because this is starting to annoy me. This is starting to irritate me. This is getting, getting out of hand. Here's a couple scriptures that, that backs this thought up. I am worn out with pain. Every night my pillow is wet with tears. Psalm 6.6 6. And I'm not sure if David wrote that, but that sounds like something David would write. It's in the Psalms. It's, I, got a good, I got a good shot that that was David, right? But I've been there. Lost the girl. Lost the ministry. Lost the job. And the devil played with my mind. And, wet, and, I, and I just wept on the pillow all night long until I fell asleep. And the only reason I fell asleep is because I was exhausted. But I fell asleep in tears. In a wet pillow. And it was tears. It wasn't drool. It was tears. You know, I'm sure we woke up to drooling pillows, but it was tears. Job 30, 27 says, The churning inside me never stops. Days of suffering confront me. Felt like Job a few times. The churning inside me never stops. We're tired. We lay down to go to bed and our mind starts going. Chugga, 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 chugga. You should have said, you should have said, you should have said, you should have said, you shouldn't have said, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, you should have did this, you should have did that. Did they look at you funny? Did you look at them funny? What were they thinking when they said that? You know, they took that the wrong way. I should have said this when they snarked at me. I should have said this when they cut me down. I should have said that when they cut me off. And our mind's going chug, 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 chug. And again, we don't fall asleep until we're totally exhausted and we fell asleep and we're not resting. Our body just decided that it couldn't take anymore. Our mind was still going a thousand miles an hour, but our body says, let him sleep. But our mind never shut up. John 16, 3 says this, I've told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I've overcome the world. John 16, 33. I've told you this so that you may have peace in me. The only way we're going to get peace is if we've got Christ in us and, and we, are, we are in Him. He's, he's the only peace. He told us time and time again that He came to we, our peace will be made full that we will have full peace and he's told us many different ways and we'll get to that as we get deeper into the series hey, how to get to that peace but it's so hard sometimes we know these things but we either forget them or the enemy convinces us that it just doesn't work here and off you'll have many trials and sorrows 
Life hurts, God heals. Give it to God. It's not going to be easy. I think that's one of the greatest disjustices that a lot of Christians are doing around the world. We're going to get you saved. All your problems are going to go away. Yeah, God will take you take care of your problems. He'll get you through the problems. But that doesn't stop all the problems. The enemy's not happy that he lost someone that he gets to spend eternity with in torture. He's going to continue to fight. He's going to continue to get you addicted to stuff so that you have struggles. He's going to continue to send problems and situations at you. So the, the battle is always going on in some fashion. But he says, if we resist the devil, he will flee. If we stand, he won't fight. But he convinces us to run. He convinces us to flee. He convinces us that we're less than. He convinces us that we're not a child of God. But the Father says, I have peace. And we'll start breaking that down. We got two more th- little sessions on on pain. I think I'll combine the next two because they're really short. But and then we'll start getting into letting God start to help us. So look forward to this. Try I try to do it on a consistent basis. Uh, that'll give us three studies and, and our long form and our short form studies, and that'd probably be it for a while. Uh, so God bless. Like, share, subscribe, thoughts, comments. God bless.